your first Alert 5 weather. Well, it's still quiet around here. I thought we'd start off in northern Colorado today, and you can see anywhere from Steamboat Springs clear out to the Nebraska border where this is all the action is. Scattered rain showers in the high country, thunderstorms out here on the eastern plains, and a severe thunderstorm watch for Cheyenne and Kit Carson counties. That goes until 10 o'clock locally this evening. But when we take a look a little bit closer, you can see what comes from that into our neck of the woods. This little ribbon right here of green, this is what we call an outflow boundary. It's essentially a big gust of wind that comes from these thunderstorms and it's now starting to move into Crowley County. So Ordway, probably about in the next 30 minutes or so, you might start to see the winds pick up. That is what's moving through your area. The rest of the viewing area at this time, fairly quiet. We did have a couple of light rain showers in the northern sand grays, but that's been about it. It's just mostly sunny skies and a fairly nice and hot weekend. Current temperature is 89 degrees. Humidity level, very dry around here. Only 10% in Colorado Springs. Single digits down in Pueblo where the humidity value is 9% and a current temperature of 98 degrees. Also around the region at this time, look at the contrast in temperatures from the Palmer Divide. Anywhere northward, you have more cloud cover and thunderstorms, cooler temps in the 80s. Anywhere south of the Palmer Divide, mostly sunny skies and temps in the 90s and even 100s for La Junta. And then as you get into the higher elevations, cooler temperatures and eventually fall back into the 80s and 70s. But again, southeastern Colorado, things are fairly quiet. A couple outflow boundaries move through, a couple light rain showers and the higher elevations, but on the bigger scale, you can see all the energy is to the north and what we have here and you can follow this all the way up in Canada, but there's a, a ribbon of energy that kind of runs through the state and this is the tail end that's sparking off these showers and thunderstorms. I don't think it's going to make it down here to southern Colorado. Watch what happens here over the next 24 hours though. This cold front, and I'm gonna be a little sarcastic and say cold front in quotation marks here because it's not gonna do much for our temperatures. If anything, it's just gonna shift our winds a little bit. It's gonna hang out on the Eastern Plains for tomorrow afternoon. So instead of setting near record, or actually record highs, we'll maybe be off by a two or three degrees. That's what the cold front is really gonna do for us in the forecast. Now for tonight, as I mentioned, the, the forecast model wants to paint in some rain showers here for our area. I'm not paying any attention to this. Later tonight, everything's moving out. Mostly clear skies during the overnight hours. Waking up to lots of sunshine for tomorrow afternoon. And again, maybe a few clouds for the afternoon, but we're looking for very hot temperatures for tomorrow. Again, this thing wants to paint in a few light rain showers here for the Palmer Divide. I'm not combining into that. So forecast looks like this. Mid to upper 80s for the Palmer Ridge for tomorrow afternoon. 88 for Monument. Down here in Colorado Springs, an afternoon high of around 93 degrees. We're going to be off of the record high by a few degrees. It's going to come close. Same thing with Pueblo with an afternoon temperature of around 100 degrees. I believe the high, record high for tomorrow is 103. And statewide, we're still looking at very warm temperatures. But when you compare that to the eastern plains, there's that cold front. It's just a few degrees off, keeping us from potential record highs. But that's only going to be for Sunday. Now, as we head towards Monday and Tuesday, the, the warm air is going to be with us. And once that cooler air starts to move out of the picture, that's when we start to get even closer to those record high temperatures. Check this out on the seven day forecast. I put the verbiage in here for the potential days where we could actually break those records. Here in Colorado Springs, potentially for Monday, potentially for Tuesday. And then watch what happens as we go from Tuesday into Wednesday. We drop in our temperatures by about 5 to even 10 degrees in some locations as we get a more powerful system to come on through. Pueblo will be close to record highs once again on Monday and Tuesday, but watch those thunderstorms as they start to develop on Wednesday and Thursday. Moisture starts to work back into the state on Tuesday evening, which brings in the slight possibility for some thunderstorms in Canyon City, Colorado Springs, as well as Woodland Park better chances on Wednesday and Thursday and then we start to clear things out on Friday and the chances start to decrease and as they do so those temperatures will start to warm up once again and we could be talking about another hot weekend for next weekend.